Hi everyone, welcome to our painting classes. My name is Allie and I am part of Girl Scout Troop 6475. Today we will be learning about Hilma of Klint and one of her famous paintings. Before we get started on the painting, we will briefly go over some background information about her. The materials that we will need are a pencil, paper, or preferably a canvas, a ruler, a sharpie, um, paints that are all the colors of the rainbow and black and white, or if you just have red, yellow, and blue, that will work too because you can make the secondary colors, and you will need two bowls or plates of different sizes to trace circles. So, Hilma of Klint, she was a Swedish artist who lived from 16, 1862 to 1944. She began painting her works in 1906, and they are known for being colorful, brave, and innovative. She even inspired later artists such as Vasily Kandinsky and Piet de Mondrian, and even a British magazine said, these paintings are a revelation and like nothing that came before them. Here's some examples of our paintings. So the painting that we will be painting today is called Altarpiece Number no. One. And um, this is a very complicated painting, so we will be simplifying it a little bit. Then before we get started, the last thing to remember is just that we're just using this piece as inspiration, so feel free to make however many changes you want to really put your own twist on it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the triangle. So for this, we're going to find the point in the middle of the canvas or the paper. So for me, that is about three and three quarters inches. And then we're going to mark it and you want it to be about two thirds the way up the page. So for me, that would be right about here. Perfect. So then we're going to draw lines connecting this dot down to the corner. So I'm sorry if it's kind of hard to see. Okay, perfect. The next step is going to be to draw the lines leading up to that point in the triangle. So in Hilma of Clint's painting, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns leading up to the top. This means that we'll end up drawing six lines. So um, the width of my paper is seven and a half inches. So once you divide it by six, for me, that's about one and a quarter inch. So I'm going to mark that at the bottom. Then we're going to draw leading up from these dots to the tippy top. So I decided that I'm going to use the smaller one to draw the middle of the sun and then for the edge of the sun I will end up using the larger one.
to begin painting it, I'm going to start with the sun and paint that a bright, rich yellow orange. To get my orange, I just mixed red and yellow and used a lot more yellow than red and it ended up kind of a mango color. And so I'm going to use that to fill in the center of the sun. Because this is black paint underneath, we will need to end up doing a couple of layers. To do this, the technique that I'm using is I am just lining the edge of the brush up with the edge of the sun and pushing in and it seems to be working pretty well to get a good circle effect. And then I am leaving out the area at the tip of the triangle um, but we are going to paint over it, so it's okay if it ends up getting in the triangle. Okay, so the next thing is I'm just going to let it dry and do a couple more coats to make sure it has, um, the color is not see-through and you cannot still see the black. Okay, so now that I've touched it up, I'm going to move on to the rays of the sun. And for this, I'm actually going to use just a plain yellow without any orange, just so they stand out a little bit more. After one coat of paint, um, this is what the sun looks like, so I know that it might take a couple more. Um, if you um, are a little bit short on time and you need this to dry quickly, if you have a hair dryer at home, that will help um, speed up the process. So I'm going to do another couple of coats and then see how it looks. So now that our sun has been finished with its touch-ups, it's time to move on to the triangle. Now what I'm going to do is for each of the columns, I'm going to use a different color of the rainbow. <clears throat> so on the far left, I'm going to start with red and I'm going to do kind of like um, a color block up there. So start um, really bright down here and at the top it'll be more like a light pink. So to begin, let's get our paint ready. Okay. And I'm going to start at the bottom and do this bottom far left um, square with just plain red. Again, because it's a black background, we might have some trouble and might have to do a couple of coats.
now that we're done with painting for the most part, we're going to go ahead and make the columns outlined with, I'm going to be using a Sharpie. You're welcome to paint it, but um, a Sharpie probably will give you a cleaner line. So to do that, I'm just going to take the ruler and um, just Sharpie along the edge. 